A day and night of deadly gun violence in the Bronx. Several people shot four of them were innocent bystanders. One of the most recent shootings happening this evening in the Mount Hope section. Gunfire update on Jerome Avenue. In all, three people were shot, two of them not the intended targets. Luckily, both expected to be okay. The shooter tonight, though, is in the wind. And just a short distance away in the Mott Haven section, gang violence to blame for three other shootings in just the past 72 hours. Two innocent women were shot this afternoon. One of them, a 71-year-old who was killed. I would assume reporter Josh Heininger live outside the 4 precinct station with how cops are responding to the latest round of gun insanity. Josh. Yeah, Bill, they have dramatically increased their manpower just tonight in response to these incidents uh, here in this precinct, the 4 precinct, which has seen sharp reductions in shootings so far this year. But in the past three days, the South Bronx has been more like the Wild West. In a neighborhood so accustomed to flashing lights and violent crime, life went on tonight at 138th and Brook. As detectives took measurements and cataloged their evidence, families dodged police tape as they headed home for dinner. And a little girl gawked at the crime scene on her doorstep. Before I start, I have to offer my condolences. Police marveled at the brazenness, the outright disregard for humanity at the center of a beef between members of rival gangs in broad daylight. Two males got into a dispute. One male pulled out a firearm and fired multiple shots at the other. But those bullets struck two innocent people standing out on the street. Including this 71-year-old woman waiting to cross the street with her back turned to the gunfire. She fell with a bullet in her back. I heard three shots and I ran. When I ran, everybody else ran. When I case she was on the floor, by the way, I gave CPR. She died at the hospital. Another bullet hit a different woman in the arm. She'd been standing with a friend when the shooting started. I didn't see where it started. I just heard gunshots down there. I told her that we have to run. She stood still, and I ran. This is our community. We own this community. We cannot allow this to continue to happen. It all happened at 12.30 in the afternoon. And in the NYPD's 4-0 precinct, it's the third incident in as many days where innocent bystanders have been caught in the crossfire. Those three incidents involve four victims ranging in age from 8 to 71 who were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. And cops believe at least two of the cases involve the same two gangs fighting over who knows what. The historical beef for the most part, territory, um, various things, just groups not getting along. Police are flooding the neighborhood with resources, hoping to cool off the violence. But the neighborhood is getting fed up. Can't take this. Come out of here. Can't take it anymore. Late tonight, police identified the victim, the lady who died earlier today, as 71 year old Enriqueta Rivera. The other victim suffered a non life threatening injury. Tonight, detectives are hard at work trying to find the shooter. I'm